All right, put that impact back. Oh, hey there, guys. So I just took the duels off of this 7210 here. So I plan on putting it on the cheddar. I know, extreme overkill. But it's one of our best tractors on the farm, so let's get to it. So we'll jump in here. I'm going to go over there, hook up the tether, use every bit of these ponies over there. I mean, uh, basically because our tether hooks up to a three point, a lot of our smaller tractors just don't have a quick hitch on it. So I just thought I would uh, hook this up. go there we go now we got the PTO hooked up so now we can Ted the crap out of her hey wait who's this oh what Did farmer Jim get a new truck uh, I think he just came over here to one up my uh, Chevy over here man that thing is nice what a clean truck it's kind of rude he came over here to gloat no honestly farmer Jim needs us to go spray some fields so he has two fields I talked him into allowing me to use his sprayer to spray my one field still need to spray my beans over there so I'll shut this off and uh, I guess I will go jump into my Chevy and uh, go up there and spray them fields quick what's up Buck you knocked over any plants yet? Alright. Go sleep on the handrail. Alright, so we're going to jump into our uh, new truck over here. We're going to race down and hopefully get these two fields sprayed. And then I can come back and race down here and tit. Watch out, Buck. So we'll race down. I can't believe it took, I've owned this truck for about a couple days and already Farmer Jim already has a brand new truck. So that's what it, that's what happens when you deal with a lot of money. If you want a new truck, you just go buy one. So me and Farmer Jim have been at it lately. So we got all his planting done planted these two fields then we're planted in soybeans another two fields and I even talked him into letting me plant my one field of soybeans so that is planted I am speeding Wow got to talking and I start just racing the truck now slow down so we're gonna run over here so I did put away both of his planters earlier, so all of them have been basically put away for the season. Of course, there is uh, Farmer Jim's new truck. Of course, it has to sit higher than mine. Hmm. Look at that. Which one do you like more? That's a hard choice, so just keep in mind that this is like $80,000 and this is 60. 80, 60. And also, this is a F450, this is only a 2500. But, eh, I prefer my Denali. Man, that is nice, though. That is a nice truck. Whew! Put tech. So here's the sprayer. Oh, I see he backed up his old wrinkly truck in here with his uh, seed tender. But we'll get into his sprayer and I think we'll see if it needs filled up. Alright, we'll set the GPS in here. Looks like we got uh, plenty of uh, fertilizer already on, so we'll head off here. I'm going to have to talk to Farmer Jim. We're going to need a nice little uh, 
truck and trailer for this as much spraying as we have to do we put all the lights on for these crazy drivers they do not give us any extra room whatsoever so I know his one field it's the far field it's a ways that's what he calls it the back hundred we have to drive over here on the ditch and it is definitely bumpy even on this brand new sprayer uh, what's shaking in here something's shaking the sprayer Ooh, I'm glad we're off that road there's a lot of traffic Man, these little ruts in the road really grab the tire. So we are going to race down. So this will be convenient. We're actually going by our farm. And then on the way back, we will hit our one field and spray it. And then we should be good, except for our herbicide. So if you look over there, our corn's doing good. So it's the neighbor's corn. Wait, is this Jim's field? Nope. Not Jim's field, I just had to call him to make sure. Uh, his is actually the next one right over here. So that would have been a mistake. Definitely make sure you're spraying the right field. So these are his soybeans. There, we'll, un we'll unfold this old girl. go hold that down and then take off definitely like this sprayer this takes no time whatsoever so I guess we can turn off our flashers now that we're in the field don't need them anymore so this is kind of a weird shape Field, so it has these trees over here that is not his ground over there so basically all his ground he says is uh, uh, put into field I don't know who's that uh, grass field over there would be a bad field for us to own beans it's really close to our farm so just like that we are already done so thank goodness we got shut off roll sprayer here so we are taking about a 20 foot swath right now so hardly anything at all so shut offs definitely save some fertilizer so what, what, right here all right now we got to fold this up Hold up. So we're not going to go far, that's for sure. Spray our second field. Uh, just even though we're not, we're going on country roads, I'm going to put the flashers on. Just in case. You always want to be safe instead of sorry. Man, is it bumpy right here. Don't think he got a suspension cab on this sprayer because it sure doesn't feel like it bouncing around. So we are going to spray our soybeans. If you don't know, we put manure on our corn so it is fully sprayed. Shut off the flashers. Unfold this uh, giant wing. I don't mind using Jim's sprayer, so anytime he asks me to go spray, I always jump at it. You can feel like you got a lot done if you spray fields. Even though you might get cancer one day, you at least feel like you're doing a lot. Alright, so we're going so fast, it's hard to make sure we're not going to clip a fence post there. Jim does have breakaway uh, booms here. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was close right there. There we go. A little bit too close. Gonna spray the pasture there. 
cows might like it. Might have a little what they call the green milk, maybe though. Almost already got one pass around this field, so take about two pass and you are basically done with this field. Not a giant field for this sprayer, but a big field for us. If that makes any sense. Hello, Lone Oak. <laughs> Like I said here, so not a big field for the sprayer, but a big field for us. So I think that's it. Oh, missed a little bitty bitty pass right, little patch right there. That should be it. All right, now we gotta fold up. So I like these jobs of Jim gives me that takes about 30 minutes. Fold up. Drive a new piece of equipment through our farmyard. Don't really get to do this often. So, don't worry. Oh, my nostalgic tractors. I still adore you. I'll come back and get you soon, old case. So, the plan is, hopefully, I can get all that, uh, Hey Ted, really quick before it gets dark. And hopefully that hay will dry quicker. Alright, so we're pulling in here with the sprayer. All done with the our fields. Luckily Jim didn't mind if we spray our own field because that made that job into cut like that job into a tenth of what it took for our 6,000 series. You don't know our 6,000 series can't spray as quick as this and it is about one-third of the size boom. Back this up here nicely for Jim. There we go. All right, shut the GPS down, computers down. All right, now we'll head back and hopefully get to Tedding before it gets dark on us. Man, Jim just had to show me up. Look how high that sits compared to mine. Just makes mine look almost like a toy. Shame. So we're just gonna drive in here. Been noticing while I'm driving this is maybe I have a shock out or something. I'm gonna have to talk to Buck. It seems like I have an awful lot of body roll for whatever reason, so I'm not a fan of that at least. I like a more sturdy drive, just like my real life truck. It's getting so late I need my uh, headlights on, so hopefully we can get our uh, hay tedded. Supposed to have a good sunny day tomorrow for a uh, good sunny day tomorrow, so it should be good for drying. Pull in here, park the truck. Oh, forgot to shut off the lights. Don't want the battery to die. Oh, hey, Buck. You want to ride with us? All right. You're going to stay there? All right. So let's get the overkill going here. Start this up. No time to waste. Probably need to turn on our headlights. Hoping this dries because I'm, we only have a few days for... Uh, Oh man, I, I guess I left the, the actual mower right there. So I need to go move that. So the plan is for our cousin to mow our other piece of grass here come tomorrow. But we'll get on to this so before it gets dark. Never heard of somebody uh, tedding in the dark, but I guess it is possible. 
All right, which uh, remote is it? Oh, yep, that's the right one. Never know when you hook up remotes which one you actually put it on. All right, a gauge PTO and lower. So we're going around, we're already on the second pass here. So really want this thing to swing this uh, grass high. So you don't have to really worry about losing leaves when you are uh, tedding grass. So don't know if I would ted alfalfa, but I do know a few people that do it. That's probably kind of hard on losing the leaves on alfalfa. Almost done with this uh, field here. So we've got about three rounds around it. Uh, still got to do a little bit of the inside. Then we have the other field. Should be able to get both fields done before it gets dark on us. That's good. Hopefully I can get my cousin over here later on to do the cut the other field tomorrow we'll have to see all right turn that PTO on so we are off here again on our starting our second field so I know you guys your guys are gonna say that's too big of a tractor to have on a tether that's not realistic but this is the only tractor we have that will work with the three-point or had a working three-point other than our uh, 4020 and I plan on putting the 4020 on I plan on putting the 4020 4020 on the rake so that's why I didn't put it on the tether so I know you see all that exhaust coming out I'm uh, ruining the ozone but oh well we are definitely burning a little bit too much fuel but uh, I guess we get a ride in a comfortable cab. So this looks like the final little stretch here. We got all this done. So we basically just have to now finish up our little slivers that we have remaining. Little slivers that still need tossed. There we go. Toss that. I think we, oh, there's a little bit more down here. So this should be our last bit here. And I'm gonna head into bed, sleep this off, and hopefully in the morning we can start raking and bailing this. What's up, Buck? All right, go to your doghouse, buddy. We're gonna turn in bed here. Uh, We'll kill this fire here but we will turn in to bed and see you in the morning uh, Buck are you in here oh man you knocked over another plant Buck uh, I might go back to bed All right, another beautiful morning. Oh yeah, that wasn't a dream. I guess Buck really did knock over another plant on us. Dang it, Buck. Let's see what the weather's doing like for today. Check out the weather. Oh, nice and sunny today. So hopefully our hay will dry. Let's go see. We'll check it out. Buck, were you in the house last night? Did you knock over a plant? Dang it, Buck. Where did I leave my Bobcat UTV up? Over here. So I'm gonna take this over and check the hay. So we're just gonna check, see if it's dry right now. Uh, I don't know. I uh, don't know. I think it usually gets a yellow tint when it's dry. Let's see. 
All right, so let's see. Grass, it looks like it's 10%. Does that mean it's dry? I have no idea. Looks like it little bit wet still, so maybe another day. I think another day still and it should be ready. Uh, I guess. What do we get to do today? Guess what? We get to go fishing today. Nothing else to do and everything's done. Get to enjoy my little fishing hole. Let's see if we can catch a big one today. Well, that was a successful day of uh, catching some bass. We're cooking them up here, but think our hay is, should be ready to go tomorrow morning, so I will see you guys in the morning. Man, just driving back, it really gets dark in uh, Oregon here, that's for sure. Dark, dark, dark. We will uh, put this over here and uh, get some shut-eye. All right, another morning. Let's get to it. I still don't have that plant put up. Oh, man, Buck. But, oh, got our coffee. Don't forget the coffee in the morning. So we'll get some coffee in us. All right. Now we need to get our uh, 4020 and put it onto the rake and get that started. And I do have plans to probably use our uh, 72, actually, yeah, this, this is on the disc vine, so I'll just leave it. Our plan is to uh, basically cut mow this down and we're going to chop this for silage. That is the plan. Head over here and get our... Uh, 4020. Where did I leave the 4020? Oh, there it is. Beautiful looking 4020. So we'll have to get the three point off of it. There we go. Unhitch that. So the plan is I'm going to put this on the rake. Where is the rake at? There it is parked over here so I'm gonna get this over here on the rake and I think my cousin is coming down and she will run the rake hopefully okay hook it up everything should be good so I'm gonna run down here and I'm probably gonna do the outside pass on both fields and then uh, hand it over to her so it looks like we don't have a lot out here. That's unfortunate. Might not even have to have her come because it's not going to take much. It's really annoying that we lost this much uh, hay out here. I don't know. We might have to end up uh, bailing that other ground because we lost so much here. So I was going to end up try to chop it, but I don't know if that will work. We really lost a lot of volume, so this might hurt. Might have to find some more hay somewhere. So this is our last bit of our sad field here. This is a sad, sad field. Uh, fold this up here. So we're just raking around our sad field here. I call it sad because we really lost a lot of crop. I don't know how it all disappeared so quickly, but... Oh, here comes my cousin. Always driving like a maniac. She is crazy over there. So I will get her started over here quickly. So now I'm going to unhitch this tether here quickly. Uh, I don't know exactly where I want to put it. Oh man, I guess we're gonna back it up all the way to our shed over here. Probably a good area. Probably shouldn't have backed up this far. Definitely would have been easier just to drive forward. 
right here. Looks good for it. Lower it down. Alright, lower it down there. And unhook it. So now we'll go over here to our Vermeer. Grab it quickly and hook up. Alright, got everything hooked up for it. Now we just have to start bailing. We're gonna get like five bales out of this. So it looks like we're going good. It's really putting out the horsepower. We are not getting much tonnage here. Didn't think we would with this much uh, loss. Man, are we going to make one round bale all the way around here? Crazy. Well, at least we don't have to stop it on low much. Alright, turn this old girl on and start taking off here. Wow. We are definitely not getting a lot of hay here. Oh man, we're not going to get a lot off of this crop. So basically one pass and we made about 68% of a bale. So sad. Don't even know if it pays for the gas that we're using out here. Like I said, I'll be happy if I get five bales off of this. So our buzzer's going off, and it has been going off for a while now. But as you can see, uh, it's not going up quickly. It's like watching uh, paint dry. It's painful over here how little we're going to get. I don't even, we might get it one back one round bale per field here. I even have a hard time finding out where our rows actually are. Because uh, so little of the crop is still there. Sad. Really sad. So it looks like she has her hair in the ponytail today. She's going around. I know. It's sad. Look at that. Man, we're hardly getting anything. So I think I'm going to follow her with this baler here. Maybe we can try to keep up with her. So I bet we could probably catch her, even though we still have a little bit to do on this other field here. Pick up the pickup there. There we go. Got to get all these little slivers because uh, we might not get two bales. So we might end up catching her, I don't know, because if you think about it, we never have to stop to uh, unload a bale. So you don't see any bales around here for a reason. I don't know. It's, we still have a, quite a bit. Not volume to pick up, but uh, actual windrows to actually still pick up over here. So we'll see. And it is really hard to see where these rows are at and where they're not. almost feel like I need glasses when I'm trying to find these rows. It's easier looking for the tracks of the the rake tractor made so than looking for the rows. I keep on thinking I'm done but I see little uh, slivers left so it's hard to tell what rows you've got done on here when there's nothing here. Alright, so that's done with that. Now we're going to head over here and see if we can catch her. Definitely don't have to worry about her having to hit a bale or something. Because there's like... 
uh, let her turn. Always give the her the right of way because she's crazy. All right, we'll start heading off here. I think she created a, another headland. Oh, yep, here we go. It's so hard to tell. So that was actually a roll. And this is the headland right here. I'm getting so lost over here. So the good news now is we got 33% of a bail made. Winning. There's our sole bail right there. That's the only bail we have gotten. I know. So we definitely have to bail the the field by our house because otherwise our cattle will go crazy. Oh. Alright, alright. You can have the right of way. Sorry, sorry. There we go. I'm trying to catch you. you. Gotta allow us to keep catching you. All right, so now we're finally on the up and down rows here. Don't know, will we be able to catch her? So this buzzer's been going off for a while. I know it's getting annoying to me too. So uh, that's what happens when it takes you literally the whole field to get one bale. We are definitely just wasting our money bailing this uh, field. But right now it's just more of stubbornness more than anything into I really would like to try to beat my cousin so I guess it's kind of a game uh, I don't know if I will because oh 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 wow you just witnessed it a rare moment there At least that buzzer's done now. So, two bales. Hot, hot. Well, I don't know if my cousin looks like she's having issues. Uh, should I just uh, keep uh, bailing or should I help her out? I think I should go for the win. Go for the win, but Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.